Hi, I'm Rich Horn from Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to do a walkthrough on a 70X Winnebago ERA. This is a 2015 and we're going to show you some of the uh, special points about this neat unit. One of the greatest reasons people buy this particular product is gas mileage. This is something that you're going to get somewhere in the area of about 20 miles to the gallon. Um, with a, in a motorhome, that's phenomenal. That's some great economy. The powertrain is a uh, 3.0 liter uh, V6 Mercedes uh, diesel engine, 188 horsepower. Um, got a lot of get up and go and it gives you some great economy too. And it is a one ton chassis. You actually have dual wheels in the rear. So it's great chassis. Mercedes is a great product and we take Winnebago who's one of the greatest manufacturers of motorhomes and, and they've done the conversion kit to, to turn this into a true motorhome. A couple of things that stand out about this particular product. They've gone to the, to the fancy uh, uh, shiny steel wheels. Uh, that's an, that's a, an option, something that we've added on this one. You notice it's got a power awning. You just push the button and the thing rolls out. Nice LED lighting, kind of nice to have out here out on the outside of the coach. One thing that I really like about this is Winnebago's come up with a screen system so that you can actually keep the bugs out while you're uh, doing some camping. It's heavy duty, Winnebago build it. It's, it's well put together. So as we go around the back side over here, we do have hookups. We've got uh, for uh, cable hookups for if you want to put a TV out here and also power for 110 power. Um, around the back, we're going to show you a little bit of storage back here, <clears throat> which is a neat feature. These doors actually open all the way up and they actually, uh, there's a magnet there that holds them in that position. You do have to release them. And then they stay wide open. You notice they've also uh, given us a, a screen back here too so that you can keep the bugs out. Uh, that was an issue in years past. The tabletop is strapped down. Winnebago makes sure that you've got a way to keep that from sliding around and being a problem as you're traveling. And uh, that's where it belongs. This is a uh, 5,000 pound hitch in this kind of a unit to be able to tow 5,000 pounds. That's a real plus. So, and it has the ability to do that and it's got the, the performance to make it make sense. Let's take a look inside. Um, before we go inside, I'm gonna show you uh, the dump system over here. <clears throat> right here is a macerator system. And what that means, it takes the, uh, the, the, whatever is in the black tank, it actually grinds it up and pumps it out of that black tank and you use that to dump. And that is, that is your dumping hose right there. This is for propane. Um, of course, your water heater and your fridge. This is, this is a nice feature. You got an outside shower and there's a, a hose with a, with a nozzle on it. So you can hose the grandkids off or your feet if you've been out at the beach or, or even the, the dog. So let's take a look inside and uh, show you some of those features. On entering, you see that there's four captain's chairs right here. These four chairs, they all swivel. Um, these front chairs will swivel and face this way. And if you notice right here where that, that blue tape is, there is a leg for a table that goes right in there. So you could have all four chairs facing the table to play cards or, or do something fun. There is an option to take this chair out and have a cabinet over here for additional storage if you want to do that. Sink wise, they've given us kind of a nautical theme here with a round sink and, and that's your your uh, set up there and of course they give you a top on it so you've got a workspace if you're not uh, not using the sink. So lots of counter space which is unusual. This is a really neat feature the, these shiny cabinets they actually come from Italy and they've been real popular. People love them. There's lots of storage up here and of course when you go small you need all the storage you can possibly get and this they've tried to give you every nook and cranny they can possibly come up with. The TV actually works so that you can have it face two different directions. It can come out and face this direction if your, uh, your chairs are facing the other direction. Or you can also put it this way for the couch. And we're also going to show you how the, uh, the bed goes down. So just push a button and the couch lays down flat. By the way, there's three seat belts in that couch. So that gives you a total of seven seat belts. And you'll notice that there's an extra cushion right here. The table will, will lay right there. And then that gives you the full bed. It's a great big bed for a little tiny class B motorhome. 
There's also a place to take the TV, or excuse me, the, the table, and so that it, be, it can stand right here in front of the couch where you could play cards. The table would be right here, play cards or have dinner and watch, watch a TV show. You do have some storage here for hang. There's quite a bit of storage there. <clears throat> And of course, you still have all the all the hookups for air conditioning, a roof air unit, a furnace, fridge, stove, water heater, all the features that uh, you're going to want in a real motorhome. So this is this is the uh, lavatory. You're actually there's your your shower actually hooks onto the uh, faucet here. Will hang right there. Um, you can control the temperature, hot and cold. Um, on there's a, a rail up here, so if you want to use the closet for hang, you can do that. It actually has a vent right here that will actually release the moisture out and suck the moisture out of the bathroom area. And you still have a, uh, a place here to put your toilet paper to keep it from getting wet. And of course, a place for your soap and, and shampoo. So they've, they've tried to think of everything and give it to you in a small space um, and give you some good economy besides. So this, this is a, a real winner. I hope you'll come down to Motorsports Land and take a look at these DRAs and see if there's something that we can do to put you in one. Let Motorsports Land guide you.